The battle for Arrakis took everyone by surprise. There were no witnesses. The Harkonnen operation was perpetrated overnight, without warning or declaration of war. By morning, the Atreides were no more. All died in the dark. the destruction of House Atreides by House Harkonnen, Princess Irulan, daughter of Emperor Padisha Shaddam IV, secretly kept a journal that Paul Atreides might still be alive. In Arrakis, Fremen Stilgar's army, including Paul and his pregnant mother, Lady Jessica, managed to defeat the Harkonnen attack. <laughs> When Jessica and Paul reached Sietch Tabra, some Fremen suspected them of being spies, while Stilgar and others saw signs of a prophecy that a mother and child from the outside world would bring prosperity to Arrakis. Stilgar tells Jessica that Reverend Mother Sietch Tabra is dying, and Jessica must take her place by drinking the Water of Life, a poison deadly to men and the untrained. By drinking the poison, Jessica will survive and inherit the memories of every female ancestor in her bloodline. The liquid also prematurely awakens the mind of her unborn daughter Aaliyah, so that Jessica can communicate with her. What is it? Drink. agreed to focus on convincing the northern Fremen, who were more skeptical of the prophecy. Chani and her friend Shishakli believed that the prophecy was made to manipulate the Freemen. However, she began to respect Paul after he stated that he only intended to fight alongside the Fremen, not to dominate them. Paul and Chani fell in love as Paul immersed himself in Fremen culture, learning their language, becoming a Fadakin warrior, riding a sandworm, and taking part in raids on Harkonnen's spice operations. Paul adopted the Fremen names Usul and Muad'Dib. You shall be known among us as Usul. 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 Now you are our brother, hmm. Paul Muadib Usul. <laughs> Due to the devastating spice raid, Baron Vladimir Harkonnen replaced his nephew, Glossu Raban, as ruler of Arrakis with his crazed and murderous younger nephew, Fade Rautha. Lady Margot Fenring, a Bene Gesserit, was sent to evaluate Fade Rautha as a candidate for Kwisatz Haderach and to secure his genetic lineage. Jessica travelled south to unite with the fundamentalist Freeman, who believed in the prophecy. Paul remained in the north, fearing that his visions of a holy war would occur if he went south as a messenger. He was reunited with Gurney Halleck, who took him to the hidden atomic storage in House Atreides. Your great-great-grandfather's legacy, the 92 original Atreides family's atomic warheads. And that, that is power. Fide Rautha attacked the northern Fremen, including Sietch Tabur, forcing Paul and the survivors to go south. Shishakli stayed behind, and Fade Rautha killed him.
Upon arrival, Paul drank the water of life and fell into a coma. This angers Chani, but she is forced by Jessica to mix her tears with the liquid, waking him up. Please, that said I, climb up, rise. Paul now has a clearer vision of the past, present and future. He sees Aaliyah maturing on the water-filled Arrakis and learns that Jessica is the Baron's daughter. He also saw one path to victory among all possible futures. The leaders of the Southern Fremen urged Paul to challenge Stilgar in a deadly duel for leadership. He refused and instead galvanized the fundamentalists by showing that he could read their innermost thoughts. He declared himself Lisan al Ghaib and sent a challenge to Shaddam, who arrived in Arrakis with Irulan, Mohiam, and Sadokar's army. I am Paul Mwadib Atreides, Duke of Arrakis! As Shaddam punished the Harkonnen family, the Fremen launched an attack using atomic bombs and sandworms to defeat the Sardaukar forces. Paul kills the Baron and captures Shaddam and his entourage. Gurney intercepts and kills the fleeing Raban. Paul challenges Shaddam for the throne and, much to Chani's chagrin, requests that the Irulan be married. Shaddam admitted his involvement in the destruction of House Atreides. Having been previously summoned by the Baron, the Great Houses arrived in orbit. Paul threatens to destroy the spice fields with atoms if they interfere. Fide Rautha volunteered to be Shaddam's champion, but Paul killed him in a knife duel. <laughs> Irulan agreed to Paul's request for marriage on the condition that her father stay alive. Shaddam knelt and kissed Paul's signet ring, then surrendered. After the great family rejected Paul's ascension to the throne, he ordered the Fremen to attack the orbiting fleet. My lord, the great houses have answered. They refuse to honor your ascendancy. We await your orders, Mr. al -Gaib. As Stilgar led the Freeman towards the captured Sardaukar ship, Jessica and Aaliyah reflected on the beginnings of the Muad'Dib Holy War. Chani refuses to submit to Paul and leaves alone on a sandworm. 